What's up guys? Lone Driver Mike again bringing you another video and guys in this video I'm going to show you how to set up your bike for food deliveries. Yes, that's right. Now if you remember my uh, other video uh, Uber and Lyft car setup guys that was um, a really big uh, popular video when I made it I mean when I well yeah when I when I made it about six months ago um, or longer I forgot when uh, but I uploaded it when I was in Napa it was during the Bottle Rock um, three-day concert thing um, and that got a lot of views um, people really enjoyed it um, so hopefully this video goes viral also um, so as you know I don't have a car right now and uh, I've explained that in my previous video so honestly I'm not even gonna get into that um, so for for those who are new subscribers or new viewers um, please check out my last few videos and that explains everything um, but anyways guys you need a good uh, reliable uh, sturdy bike for food deliveries um, now I know there's different um, types of bikes that you can get Heck. Um, there's road bikes, there's mountain bikes. I have a mountain bike. Now I know you're supposed to get like a road bike because it's lighter, it's faster and all that kind of stuff. Um, but they're a little more expensive and I've heard that um, they don't have like brakes or something or uh, to brake it's very difficult. Um, so if you're going fast, you know, you have to, I, I don't exactly remember. Um, but anyways, I like my bike. It's a Swin mountain bike. Um, yeah, I got it for 200 bucks at Target, um, so I can't complain. Um, and not only do you need a bike, guys, you need a lot of different things to um, make sure that you are uh, ready to go. Because, uh, for example, say you get a flat tire, or say, you know, some jackass hits you. You know, you need to make sure that you have a helmet, you have lights and all that. Um, so when I first started, actually I didn't have all this stuff. Um, so I learned the hard way. But when, you, when you're doing food deliveries, especially all day, you want to make sure that you're prepared. You want to make sure that you're ready for the day. Um, you want to make sure that you have lights, uh, a helmet, a bike lock, a proper bag to deliver the, you know, to carry the food in. Um, it's not easy, but once you have these things, it makes your job a lot easier. Um, so let me just show you. This is here's all messed up. So yeah, this is my helmet. Um, this is just a Swin, just your basic. Uh, I forgot how much I paid for it, but in total, I think I paid about 300 for everything. My bag, my helmet, the bike, everything. Um, bike pump. You guys need to make sure you have everything. Because if you go out, you get a flat tire, you need to fix it or whatever. Um, yeah, make sure you're ready to go, guys. Because you're out there all day or, you know, something happens, you get hit, you don't have a helmet, you know, you hit the concrete, boom. You know, you're either, you're either dead or you're, or oh, whatever. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you can get hit you can get hit from a car but um the main thing that you should be worried about is your head so that's why they made helmets so if, if your head does hit the concrete bam you know you're protected you're at least gonna be okay you're gonna at least survive not die um, so a lot of these food companies they'll they'll provide you bags or you'll have to actually buy them um, uber eats they do provide uh, well actually you have to buy one I believe um, and the reason why I don't use the bags that they provide is because there's not enough room. All, there's only enough room for maybe one bag, guys. Um, so if you get a, like a big order, like I did the other day. Man, can you guys see me? There we go. Yeah, so like uh, if you get like a really big order, like I did the other day. Um, it was an Uber Eats order, so they don't tell you the total and everything. They just tell you like what kind of foods in the order um, and with uber eats they already make the food so you don't have to pay for anything you don't have to use the company card um, so when i got there it wasn't ready um, i realized i looked at the order i realized it was a big order so i understood so i didn't complain or anything with uber eats 
um, on the app they say uh, if the food's not ready and you do not want to wait you can cancel that you can cancel the order and you won't get you won't get a negative um, uh, you won't get dinged for it so that's kind of cool so if you are doing uber eats that's the cool thing like if the food's not ready if you're not a patient person you're like you know what whatever I don't want to wait you cancel it's totally fine you won't you won't have a mark against you you won't get dinged for it you won't get in trouble so that's the cool thing but um, it was a large order, so I was hoping for a good tip. Um, and I did get a good tip. But anyways, guys, this is the bag that I got. I know this is not... Can you see it? So, yeah. I know this is not like, uh, you know... It, it's actually pretty... Uh, it's got a lot of pockets. I can actually hold a few drinks in the front, which I have. If you can see... See, you can hold... I can hold a couple drinks... Um, and if there's three drinks, I can put two in here and hold one. Um, so a lot of a lot of um, bike delivery guys, they actually, if they see a, a order that has drinks, they actually decline it. And um, or if it's a really big order, they'll decline it. Me, on the other hand, I have the proper equipment to make sure that I can take as many orders as I can. So the type of bag I got, it's like a ball bag. It's like a sports bag right it's a big it's a big bag I mean so this thing can actually hold quite a bit of quite a quite a bit of uh, food on Saturday guys this order was huge it was like it was two two bags well two bag well actually three bags but two of the bags were filled up to the they were they, I mean literally my bag had no more room once I put those two bags in there there was no more room but it was I had enough room to put those two big bags and then there was one more bag that had maybe it had one item so I was able to carry that on my handlebars you know I'm able to hold that um so I had to do what I had to do so that would that order alone was over a hundred dollars um my friend his name is Bon um th the type of bag he has he wouldn't be able to um uh take it because it's like it's like an upright bag, and you can only put maybe one, maybe two. If the if there's two bags, it can only be like short little bags. My, my bags were filled up to the rim, the brim. I mean, they were they were st there was about I would say about the customer ordered about I believe it was ten items. Um, so there was two and a half bags, like. Two bags were full to the rim, and one bag I was I had to carry it because I had no more room. So now, if another delivery guy accepted that, he would have realized, oh, I have insulated bag. I can only carry one bag. They can only really carry one, maybe two. Depends on how deep the um, the bag is. The insulated bags are usually upright, and they usually put it over their. Uh, it's like a little backpack kind of thing. Me, I I actually fling this over my shoulder. Um, or what I can do, you see this, I can fling it over my shoulder. Or if it's easier, you know, if there's if there's some sensitive things, I can actually uh, carry it like this. Instead of flinging it over, I can carry it. So depending on what type of food I have in the bag, I, I, I'll hold it a certain way. You know, if something's going to spill, I'll just hold it upright. I'll actually hold it as I'm riding my bike. I'll hold it like that. So it won't tip over or spill. If there's something just like, just basic, basic stuff, there's no sauce or no juices, you know, there's nothing that's going to spill, I'll fling it over my, my shoulder. Um, so I really like this bag. Like I was saying, DoorDash, Postmates, Uber Eats, they'll give you a bag, but it's a small little bag. It will keep the, 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 the food fresh and hot, but you can only fit maybe one bag. That's it. That's all you can fit. So if you get a large order, oh, I can't take it. You have to, you have to cancel it. You have to call DoorDash or uh, Grubhub or whoever you work for. You have to tell them, oh, my bag's not big enough. Guys, get a bigger bag. I mean, I know this is not designed for food, but the fact that I can, I can hold drinks, I can hold a lot of food, I can even put my phone charger in here. There's one pouch in here that I can keep my water bottle um it's great i mean it's really awesome i actually keep the portable bike pump 
I keep my, my gloves in here. See, at night, guys, it gets cold, so you need gloves. Get gloves, all right? Get some that, that will, these are kind of worn out, but get them because it's cold at night, guys. You don't want your, you know, your, your fingers to freeze up and all that. So I already showed you the helmet, the bag. You need some gloves, okay? And I'll show you what else. You need a bike pump, guys. If, if this thing gets low, you know, um, you won't be able to ride that good. So make sure that your tires are full, full of air so you can ride quick and fast. If they're low, you're gonna you're gonna feel it. You're gonna feel it as you um as you ride your bike, you're actually gonna feel it kind of slow, you know, it's not gonna be as fast. And you're wondering what's going on. Is it because of me? No, it's mostly because you don't have air in them or it's kind of low. So make sure you get a, a bike pump. Um, the bike pump that I got, I think it yeah, it's Swin too. So the same company as the bike that I got from the bike from. Um, they'll send you a big one and then they'll send you like they'll give you a portable one so the portable one I just keep with me and the big one I leave at home I, I don't you know you got to carry you got to be light you got to make sure you you don't carry too much stuff the helmet gloves the bag the bike pump I already showed you um, and yeah like I said this bag is awesome there's a front zipper in the back or in the front I mean I can put my phone chargers and all that um, and like I said guys this this is not designed for food, but honestly, um, compared to other drivers I act, or other bike delivery guys, I'm actually more prepared because I have enough room in my in my bag to carry a large order. That order was over $100. I think it was about $120. Um, and he gave me a $10 tip. When I, when I got to his house, it was about two miles from the restaurant. So, you know, usually on food deliveries, it's like three to four miles max from to the restaurant and then drop off so you're not going to go more than three or four miles you know what i'm saying um so it's quite possible um but when you do have to ride your bike two to three miles from the restaurant to the house i mean you will get tired it's exhausting unless you're in shape i'm out of shape so it's not easy for me um so when i got there he he opened the door and i had my i always leave my helmet on just because sometimes these certain these apps they don't actually tell you like Hey, he's on a bicycle. Um, you know what I'm saying? He's like, oh, he's on the way. He'll be there in 10 minutes. But the 10 minutes or the five minutes is supposed to be on, on a car, in, in a car time. You know, that's as fast as the car is going to go. But if you're on a bike, it's going to take twice as long. You know what I'm saying? Or an extra five minutes or whatever. Um, so what I do when I get to the house, I actually leave my helmet on um, just so they can see that I'm on my bike. You know what I'm saying? Because sometimes they don't see my bike or whatever, you know, and they're thinking, oh, why did you take 20 minutes, this and that? As soon as they open the door, they see my bike helmet, they know, oh, this dude, he he's on his bike. So this guy, when I delivered this large order on Saturday, he opened the door and he was like, and it was, an, it was, an, it was in a nice area. He was like, oh my God, dude, you, you're on a bike? What the heck? And he was like an older guy and he couldn't believe it. And I said, look, you know, my car, this and that. I'm not going to tell people my problems, um, but basically I just said, look, my car is down right now. I am so sorry. I can, I'm a, I can only use my bike. I have to do what I have to do. I have to pay my bills. You know, I just, I, that's what I say. That's just something simple, something really simple. You don't have to explain that, oh, this and that, my car, this and that, whatever. You just say, hey, my car is down right now. Don't get, don't, don't jump into it too much. You know what I'm saying? And he couldn't believe it. He said, oh, man, it's cold out there. Are you okay? This and that. So he was a really nice guy. I gave him the food. He pulled out his wallet. He gave me a $10 tip. So that's cool. I mean, that's, you know, 10% of the bill. $100 order, $10, 10%. That's fine. I mean, usually you're supposed to, you know, 15 to 20% if you have the money. But, I mean, I totally understand. You're, you're, you're already paying over $100 for the food so I mean I totally understand you don't want to you don't want to tip too much but ten dollars was fair I mean I was happy um so yeah guys make sure you have a good bag um if they do provide a bag you know and, and if you just want to take small orders that's fine if it's a really big order and you can't fit it in your bag you're just going to cancel it me on the other hand I have a big enough bag to where I can take orders over a hundred dollars um and also drinks like Starbucks orders these bags that they give you guys, like um, Uber Eats, 
Postmates, DoorDash, these bags can't hold drinks, you know what I'm saying? There's there's no little thing where they, you can put a drink inside unless you get a bag like I do, you know what I'm saying? I can hold two drinks in my bag and I can hold one drink in my hand. So at most, I can take three drinks. I can't take more than three drinks though. You know, I am I mean, I can take a lot of different things, food, big orders, um, even pizza, guys. If there's a pizza, what I do is I actually, I put it on top of my handlebars and I just balance it. And it's not really hard. It's You think it's hard, but it's not. When I got the, my first pizza order, I was thinking, oh my God, I'm not gonna be able to take it. Um, and I was thinking, well, let me balance it on the, on the top. And I did, and it was really not hard at all, guys. It was really easy. Um, and if I get a medium-sized pizza, my bag is actually big enough. My bag is big enough to fit a, you know, maybe not a large, but like a small to a medium-sized pizza. I can sit it flat down inside the bag on the bottom, and I can, I can, I can, I can put the pizza in there, which is pretty awesome. Now, like I said, these other bags, DoorDash, Postmates, Uber Eats, the bags that they give you, it's not gonna fit a pizza, guys. Um, so like I said, think about it like that. I mean, like I said, if you're gonna take these small orders, that's fine, you know what I'm saying? But if you wanna like take as many as you can, Starbucks orders, pizza orders, you know, uh, big orders, get like a sports bag, guys. That's gonna really help you out. It's gonna maximize your earnings. It's gonna maximize how many orders you can accept because my friend Bon, he has a, uh, I think it's a caviar or Uber Eats approved bag, but his approved bag cannot hold $100 orders. His approved bag cannot hold uh, two or three different um, Starbucks uh, coffee drinks. They can't. His approved bag cannot hold a, a small or medium sized pizza. I can because of the type of bag I got. It can hold a lot of food, it can hold drinks, it can even hold a, a small to a medium sized pizza. Not only that, I can hold my water bottle, um, my bike pump, they have a little side, uh, secret side compartment that I can keep that in. I can keep my phone charger. So it's a really good bag, guys. I really suggest, suggest that if you are doing food delivery, get like a sports bag. I mean, people are gonna look at you weird, but honestly, um, compared to the next guy that's standing next to you, you know, he's gonna have a small bag. He can only take one order, one little small bag. That's all he can take. Um, so anyways, I t showed you the gloves, the helmet, the bag, the bike pump. Now, let's look at the bike. So now this is my bike, guys. All right. It's a Swin. All right, $200 at uh, Target. So you need a good bike, you know what I'm saying? Now, like I said, you can get a mountain bike, you can get a road bike. But honestly, get whatever you're comfortable with. Um, I like the mountain bike just because it's sturdy, the tires are bigger, um, the brakes are good, I can, I'm can able to brake on time if I need to. Um, like I said, I've heard rumors that the, mount, uh, the road bikes are not able to like stop, they don't have brakes or something, it's harder. Um, the road bikes are lighter, but um, they're not as sturdy, the tires are really, really thin. Um, so yeah, I just... I mean, it's slower, but it's sturdy, and I, I like my, I'm comfortable riding it, um, and honestly, that's all that matters. If you're going to be doing this full-time like me, I go out, I do 10 to 12 hours a day on a bike. I used to do that in my car. It doesn't matter if I'm doing Lyft, Uber, or food delivery. I do 12 hours a day, and it doesn't matter if I'm in a car or if I'm on a bike, guys. You know how I work. You know how I am. I go out. I bust my ass. Um... And yeah, so anyways, you need a bike, a good sturdy bike. Um, if there's a warranty on it, that would be awesome. If not, then, you know, you, you might want to invest in a better bike, like a Swin. I do believe mine has a lifetime warranty. Um, so that's why I did pay the extra money for that. I showed you my bag, my bike pump, the helmet, the um, unique gloves. Um, it's, it's cold at night, guys, so make sure you have some kind of long sleeve. Now, you don't want a huge, huge, huge coat because it's going to wear you down. It's a lot of weight. And um, during the day, the sun's out. You know what I'm saying? 
so you know you have to take it off during the day put it in your bag and then there's no room for the food so even though it gets kind of cold at night and at times i'm wishing i had a bigger coat or a bigger uh jacket or whatever um it really helps me out because um I really don't want nothing wear, uh, slowing me down or you know I have to take my jacket off and put it back on and then there's no room in my bag so if, if you know if you can handle the coat the cold at night just get a, a small long sleeve shirt that's all you need guys you don't need nothing too big you know what I'm saying um, and at night when you're busting your ass and you're getting all those orders you're actually gonna sweat you're actually gonna feel hot so that cold air is actually gonna feel good so um, honestly, it's not bad. Um, anyways, the bike. Oh, I almost forgot. You guys need. Oh my God, a bike lock, guys. Let me tell you something. I bought a bike lock. I bought all this stuff when I first started. I bought a bike lock. Um, the bike lock was called Bell. Guys, do not buy that one. It's the one where it's like. How do I? How? It's like. It's like the. It's like the string, uh, the string one, you know, where, where you can wrap around something. It's not the U, the, the one I have now is the U one. But the one I had was like the one where you can wrap around anything and lock it with the key. Now guys, do not get that one. I actually broke my key inside the little thing and I had to, no shit, I had to go to Home Depot, buy some bolt cutters and I had to actually break my own lock to get my bike from from the freaking pole i couldn't get it i broke my key inside and that key was like flimsy like it was that little key the metal part was made of like aluminum and that thing is cheap man guys do not get that get a, a master lock a u what is it u a u master lock i'll show you right here right here boom this is the master can you see it yeah right here this is a u master lock right here and it's more money but this is not going to break on you the key's not going to break it's not going to get stuck inside the keyhole guys that was that was a waste of money i was so pissed um i had to go to home depot i had to buy some bolt cutters for 50 bucks if you save your receipt you can actually go back and get your money back so honestly it didn't really cost me anything well it did cost me in the beginning but i got my money back so that's cool um or if you want to rent out the tool but you don't have to you can buy the tool, use it once, return it, and get your money back. So I was able to do that. Thank God that one was that that tool was fifty fifty dollars, guys. But honestly, it was a fifty dollars well spent. Plus, I got my money back, so that was awesome. So, anyways, guys, like I was saying, do not get the Bell uh, bike lock because it's a cheap piece of shit, made in China. The the piece of metal for the key, it's it's really flimsy. I think it's made of aluminum. And you just don't want, you don't want a cheap bike lock. You want a good master lock bike lock. I think it's lifetime warranty too. I, I can't remember. Um, and then last but not least, guys, you need uh, lights for the night. You need a bike, uh, a bike light. So let me just show you. I know it's during the day. You won't be able to see it too good. But let me see if I can show you. See, that's the bike lock that I got. Now, this was from Bell also but this is not gonna break this is it's just a light you know what i'm saying it's a really cheap light but it works it blinks you can turn it off you can turn it on the single light or you can have it flashing and guys you really need that at night because um for the first week i didn't have that and honestly i almost got hit quite a few times so you need a light so people can see you and it's safe and all that you you don't want to be riding in the dark where you can't see um a couple times i almost ran into someone so that's not good um i also need it's also good to get a uh, actual bell kind of like a horn like you know ding 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 so you can let people know like hey i'm behind you uh, you know watch out move out of my way um so it's really good to get that now let me show you the other the other uh light for the back the red one goes in the back if you can see it or not can you guys see it <clears throat> yeah so th there you go there's the there's the other uh, and this comes in a pack so you'll get the front and the back 
the red goes in the back and the white goes in the front and uh, yeah guys that's it that's all you need to succeed as a um, bike delivery guy so like I was saying guys when you when you start doing this make sure you're ready make sure you have a good bike um, nice sturdy bike that you're comfortable with make sure you have a good bike lock like master lock make sure you have a helmet lights for the front of the bike and the back a good um, bag gloves and that's it make sure you're warm at night make sure you have um, you know warm clothing but not too not too big because you don't want to you don't want to have to be taking it off taking it back on um, like I said I like the long sleeve because it doesn't wear me down and for the most part it does keep me warm throughout the day um, honestly and that's it guys Ugh, that's all I've got to say I'm trying to think if I missed it forgot to tell you guys anything else so yeah bike pump the bag helmet gloves the bike the lights the bike lock and you need a bell I, that's the one thing I don't have right now I'll probably go get it right now it's only like five five to ten bucks it's really not that much guys um so honestly if you haven't subscribed to my channel please subscribe please like this video and please watch and share it um, I've been doing YouTube since last December so I'm coming up on a year now December 28th I believe it was the, it was the end of December um, so I'm coming up on my one year anniversary being on YouTube um, I am making money but it's very not that it's very very little guys um, to make good money on YouTube you really have to you really have to make a lot of videos you got to get a lot of views you got to get a lot of likes you got to get a lot of subscribers and um yeah it's not easy but um my number one thing is just to help you guys out man my hair's really messed up i need a haircut i think anyways i just want to help you guys out i'm i'm out i'm out here busting my ass but i'm also trying to you know upload videos and help you guys out i don't know you know i was doing uber and lyft before i made a lot of good videos on that now i'm doing food delivery um and I made quite a few videos on that also. Now I'm gonna be starting a new series on bike delivering. Um, so in the next, probably, I would say five to six months, I'll be on my bike. So I'll be uploading every, every, every time I get the chance, every time I get a new idea to make a new video. Um, yeah, and that's it guys. I, I really wanna help you succeed. If you, if you thought about signing up for Uber Eats or or uh, Postmates or uh, DoorDash or even Uber and Lyft I, I leave my links below guys like I said you'll get the highest bonus possible um, right now Lyft is at nine hundred and thirty dollars for um, their bonus so if you thought about doing Lyft use my code below you don't necessarily have to have your own car you can actually use their rental program um, and get a car from um, so that's pretty awesome so like i was saying guys please like comment and subscribe and um yeah guys i just want to thank you so much for uh supporting me and watching my videos and subscribing and um please share my videos if you really like my video um help me get some views help me make a couple extra dollars or something um and oh i almost forgot i also started my online store uh, a month ago so i do have my link below to that um, there's just a few things clothes uh, a few phone accessories um, I think some kids toys just a few you know it's not much um, but I'm just trying to start doing that so I can start making money from my online store but uh, anyways guys that's all I've got to say thank you for watching thanks for supporting me please like comment um, and subscribe to my channel and uh, that's it guys hope you guys have a good day um, it hasn't been too busy today. I might go home. I don't know. Do some laundry. Start fresh tomorrow. But uh, anyways, guys, thanks so much. Hope you guys liked my uh, video. And uh, see you next time, guys. Thanks. See you later.